It is your heart that is your light. It is your heart that is your light. So when we begin to get into situations in our life that are not exactly how we wish them to be, what do we do? We have other people's hearts, you know, we have to think about. Of course, thinking, the thinking mind is in service to the body. The body, physical being, is in service to the heart. So we do have to think about these relationships we might have, as well as how these relationships affect and add or take away from the comfort and prosperity of our physical lives. But the ultimate solution should be listened to from the heart. It, your heart is your light. This heart mindfulness, emotional mindfulness, what people are getting you to go to a negative place emotionally. What people are getting you, or what ideas are getting you, to go to a positive place emotionally. When you feel how the emotions change, when you send a thought into emotional reality, you have a much better idea of what you should do with that thought. <clears throat> Take my example for situation. There's a lot involved in my example. Um, my family, well, my mother, who at this time is taking care of my daughter, who I would wish with my heart to take the fastest road to be once again that stable, powerful father in her life that I was for the first two years, and that I wasn't so much for the last two years. So, that is something important in my heart. But then, we have other people who believe they know what is important, and maybe aren't quite at the level of consciousness that you may be at. Maybe you're only in your mind, but you can activate your heart. It takes practice, it takes specific practices, it takes work, it takes specific actions, but you can activate your heart and then really get to know it, and then you'll know why. Everything, the mind, the body, everything below the heart is there to serve the heart. But you have to have an active heart in order to understand why that's so obvious. And the simplest reason of why that's so obvious is that the heart, the emotional connection, it goes beyond physical and that's the first place multiple people can experience the same thing. You can't experience my mind unless you're highly trained. I've experienced other people's minds before when I was going through intense training and practice and being activated in certain ways and then now I can because I'm not doing the training, the activations have probably worn off, and I'm, I didn't do the work necessary to maintain that powerful um, ability, because I believe it brings heart sense into someone else's mind space that would even allow that. I know many of us are dealing with types of emotional, physical, maybe sexual, relationship, intimacy, abuse, or confusion? Are my relationships really serving me? Or am I becoming codependent on my relationships and getting myself caught in a place that is not so much where I actually really truly want to be if my heart has the truth? And so, there's so many systems of fear that one, our society plays on us, two, our families play on us, three, our friends can play on us, four, strangers can play on us, and five, you can play on yourself. But fear is one of the lowest vibrations of the heart. 
That's like when, oh my god, heart, activate, or we're gonna fucking die. That's when you're afraid. That's what fear was meant for. Heart, activate, or we'll die. It's like the first and lowest primordial activation of the heart. Either you've blown way out of proportion the situation that you're actually in, or you've just got accustomed to that aspect of the heart, and really that's that's um, the heart just trying to get you out of something bad before it hurts you even worse. That's what the fear is. But for people who are getting less and less bad, and maybe I'm talking to people who actually are in a bunch of bad situations right now, who need to understand what comes after fear. Well, pushing yourself to act towards what you enjoy so you can get some energy so you may go and forgive the scary things that you, you that caused you to be in fear this is not something that is really good for a human it causes cellular memory that will then produce later anxiety that is not even connected to the event causes neurological changes that can cause insomnia again stress things fears is not where your heart should be it's like last straw where the heart is like well we need to save you because something's seriously wrong on that you start realizing that forgiveness is what you have to do but as i said before it's unlikely you'll be able to truly forgive if you have no things that are mentally en enjoyable and physically enjoyable so you can bring joy to the heart you get more joy in the heart and you experience that realm of the heart heart joy then you can start really working through a bunch of those fears and a bunch of those things that have been keeping you down because you can't work through them if your heart is just programmed on fear you got to change your mind you got to change your actions and you got to get some enjoyment in your life with the enjoyment in your life, you're going to activate a new vibration in your heart, a much better vibration. That vibration, joy, is like energy and motivation. Woo! <laughs> it's a lot of things we can do to help these activations. I'm doing right here a power activation of the heart. Fifth exhale, I am love. Now love is the state of the heart in which the heart has all truth of what you should be doing in your physical life. Because there's nothing as valuable as love. And when you can love what you do and think about, think about what you love and love what you do and feel that love being spread to other people, you are becoming a person of the ultimate consciousness for this planet. And this is why I've been on and off so much recently. This is why I've been struggling so much recently. It's because all these people are trying to bring yoga is about the physical body and mind. And these people, other people are trying to bring astral projections that, you know, are trying to go to these other spiritual experiences when the reality is they're ignoring the collective consciousness of the planet we live on. And it's... Now with this understanding of the heart's purpose to the body, how does the heart serve the collective consciousness, the higher consciousness? Well, we know because the state of love, the heart brings truth.